Yeah, sure. Whatever. Am I out? Am I shot or is it good? Oh. You never told me if it was good or yeah, not. Yeah, we're good. I don't know. Did you move it? No. Oh. Okay. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. I'm getting ready. Hold on. I don't want to wait mm. for our lives mm. to be over. Do, 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 do. Wow, Tony. Oh. Oh. Oh <sighs> Here we go. Yikes. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about <laughs> things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I am host Uno de Tres, Luis de la Torre. I am host Dos of... You're, you're there. You're almost there. Tres... Daikaiju Tony. Yeah. Try un try, Adam. I don't think I said that right, though. No, I don't think you did either. The letter, the number was right. I don't think I said that. What, what language was that? German. Oh, okay. Oh. I was like, I hope that's not your Spanish. No, it's not very good Spanish. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, before we continue with this episode, let's Nobody talk about. Who's our German w- could possibly be evil. <laughs> I was thinking about like that. that line for The Simpsons. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Before we <laughs> <laughs> sorry to any German people watching this. We love you. How do you say we I, love you? I German? loved my time in Germany, to be honest. When yeah. I lived there, yeah. I love great. German beer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before we continue, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, right. the jewel of the Mojave Desert, yes. where we have everything that your heart, nerdy little heart could desire. It's Christmas, guys. We are officially in the Christmas season. Uh, so True. we want to give you like a, a little bit of an idea of what to get somebody. Um, we will have an episode soon on some Christmas gifts that you can buy your nerdy person. But let's show off uh, just a couple of the things that we have here for people to purchase. Yeah. Christmas or non-Christmas. All right. What do you got, Tony? We got this Grogu piggy bank where he's holding a soup cup and... Judging you? Yeah. yeah. And he has a little slot in his head. Um, just, yeah, movie uh, accurate or <laughs> show accurate. Well, yeah. it, it, it looks like his entire backside of the body has been flattened or cut off. Mm, and yeah. It's kind of disturbing. Um, doesn't have any feet, but that, that's fine because the one by Hasbro, the plushie, doesn't have feet either. And I say lo- he doesn't have feet. He was in a I love sack how, I love, how I love how you're selling people on this, and right, the first right. thing out of your mouth is, this is disturbing, but. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's still cute It's not figure. as creepy as you like, think. Yeah. Just, just look at his eyes and his little nose. You'll want to carry him around everywhere. Be, yes. be more Captain America, lessons in leadership. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. O- only at Cosmic Comics and probably yes. everywhere else at Order mm. One. Just don't I would go to more uh, work meetings if that was like <laughs> right? the, the yeah, literature they were using. But just don't be Civil War Captain America. For, I'm, I'm talking about comic Civil War. Okay? Yeah, don't be comic book Civil War. Captain. No, not the um, movie. If you're like me, you're don't probably Captain America. Uh, not great at getting gifts for people you oh. don't talk to that much during the year. So I decided to instead advertise the gift card for Cosmic Comics oh. for that special someone. Right. Uh, if you don't know what to get them, but you know like it, just generally that they love comics or comic-related stuff, gift card, they can get whatever they want. Pow. Don't do what my uncle did and buy a bunch of random comics that I did not enjoy reading. What comics were they? I don't remember. Random. <laughs> they were random, were random comics. I don't remember. There was like some superhero stuff there, but really All right. none of it was great. So. Uh, anyway, so. Cosmic Comics ships now. We ship now. What's the website for shipping? Cosmic Comics ships out Vegas or oh. Cosmic Comics LV dot com. Either one will get you. Yes. Right. Right. So don't go to cosmiccomics.org. It'll be in your history forever. <laughs> Trust me, do not go there. It's not what you think. It's not what you think it is. It is the owls are not what you think. Terrible. Okay. I'm so it up. I'm just kidding. Uh, again, like I said before, it's the holiday season. Right. Uh, it's a time for holiday specials and right. family. So we decided this week to review the movie Eight Bit Christmas. Christmas, the movie oh. Pixels, right? <laughs> Starring Adam Sandler, Peter Dinklage, Kevin Hart. Um. Kevin Hart was in that movie? Was he? No, no, no. No, I'm just kidding. Kevin James? No. Kevin James. Yeah. Well, that yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's an Adam Sandler yeah. movie. Uh, anyway, no, we're, no, we're, no. We're, we're not, not going to talk that. about <laughs> Pixels. <laughs> it's like you said earlier. I saw that movie already in that episode of Futurama. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's our review of Pixels. Yeah. We're reviewing 8-Bit Christmas. It is Sorry. a family movie that just debuted this week on HBO right. Go. Right. Max. HBO Max. 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 Sorry, yes. I keep confusing it with the Max. old app. Max. The old Max. App. Ultraman Max. Okay. Uh, starring Doogie Hauser MD. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, um, uh, Neil Patrick yep. Harris. Neil Patrick <laughs> Harris. Neil Patrick, I was like, ah, what's his name again? Neil Patrick <laughs> Harris. Uh, also, June Ann Raphael, who plays the mom. Steve Zahn is in this movie. That's mm-hmm. right. He was. Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, 
the one comedian, the one who sold him the doll, David Cross, oh, who's yeah. also David in Cross it. Is in David it. Cross. Uh, and it's just a bunch of uh, nameless kids. This is probably their first movie or their big break right here. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Like I said, it is available on HBO Max, right? Yes. Did I get yeah. that right? Okay. Then you, it is an all ages movie. It we is. We did not yes. watch a movie that you can watch for adults. Right. Uh, so let's talk about it. Let's go into 8 Bit Christmas. Uh, the. The real quick, is real quick rundown. Uh, kids want to get a Nintendo, right? Yes, the I NES. Would, I would give more of a MacGuffin, synopsis, yeah. but uh, this movie is kind of all over the place, which we'll talk about. <laughs> There's re- it's not that cohesive of a movie, unfortunately. Yes. But you know, if you're gonna watch it with wow. young ones, I don't think they'll care. Uh, I don't think they'll care. Um, so yeah, kids are basically. Uh, it's a. It takes place in the eighties. Yes. Yeah. It's basically a princess bride uh, type sort of opening. It's uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, he's talking to his the daughter, story, yep. telling uh, telling her the story of how he got his uh, Nintendo, which NES. We'll talk about that part in a bit. Yeah. Uh, his NES, yeah, the original NES. Yes. And sort of uh, all the hijinks he got into as a kid. Uh, this, yeah. uh do, do you want to talk good or bad, or what do you want to do first? What, uh, what is our order on this usually show? Usually we talk about on the, the movie? bad first. Yeah. Let's talk about the bad first. I think okay. so. Okay, let's do the bad first. Uh, I didn't really find anything too bad with it. It's just like, eh, whatever, standard Christmas movie. It's Yeah, I mean, sometimes the hyper reality annoys me, Like, but, I mean, he was telling a story, so yeah. hyperbole is the order of the day usually. Sure. <laughs> you yeah, know? It, it, kind just, of, it kind of reminds me of like um, the opening of Wolf of Wall Street where it's like, no, that wasn't the color of my car. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like yeah, that they did part. Do that, that, that a part was times. Uh, that part was like it's like when your grandpa tells you a story. And he kind of he's probably embellishing. There's a good chance that they're embellishing. Well, I thought that was actually a cute so. nod with the whole helmets because no, none of us. Yeah, wear we, helmets no, we in didn't the wear 80s. helmets. In the yeah, 80s. Yeah. yeah, riding bikes are in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> if anything, we tried to do most things with our head exposed as much as possible. <laughs> Correct. Um, and leading with our head. Mm. Yeah, mostly just to challenge fate. But yeah, yeah. some of us are still alive, and we're a lot stronger for it. Yeah. Um, yeah so he's basically telling her the story of how he got his NES because she wants to get a cell phone. Right. Yeah, that's right. And he so keeps telling her no. Yeah. And he's basically all the hijinks that ensue in getting an NES. Right. Um, so we're going to talk about the bad. So this is what I was saying earlier. Like this movie is kind of, it kind of feels like a mishmash of segments with an overarching goal. Right, the overarching goal being getting the Nintendo. Getting the Nintendo, and then all the stuff in the middle are just sort of like little, little vignettes, anecdotes. little sketches, yeah, little anecdotes. anecdotes that don't really feed too much into getting that NES. Yeah. Um, there are bits that do, but for the most part, it's usually like, it's usually, um, it's usually just nonsensical stuff. Yeah. Uh, what would what, you think? Yeah, I didn't get that. I. I actually kind of liked it. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the hyper-reality kind of annoys me, but it was a story, so there, like I said, a lot of exaggeration, a lot of hyperbole. Yep. Um, yeah, I kind of liked it. I, 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 It felt like, it felt like, I don't know, it felt, to me, honestly, what it's what it's like to be like 11. Mm-hmm. I, thought th- I thought the movie did a good job of that. Like, okay. things are kind of chaotic, and you're obsessed about certain things to sure. the... You're okay. ignoring everything else. Right. Yeah. No, that, I mean, that part's fine. That's not the part I have a problem with. Yeah, the part yeah, I had a right. problem with was more like, uh, I thought there was going to be this big sort of heist oh. type thing. Well, like, there I was. Thought, I, w- I mean, it wasn't like enough for me to be uh, like, this is what I was expecting. I was expecting this whole the whole movie to be like. <laughs> to be Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, right? kind of. Kind <laughs> yeah. of something like that. Dun, and then dun, it just dun, turned out dun, to dun, just dun, be like dun. 15 minutes of the movie was that. I, I don't know. It seemed. It seemed like they were trying to do a lot of the things that were pretty prevalent in the 80s. Well, for me, it would have been late 70s, early 80s, mm-hmm. but um, that you had to do to win prizes and things like that. Right. You know, the whole cu- oh, the Cub yeah. Scout thing, the freaking, you know, selling Christmas reefs and all that kind of the baseball cards, right. all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, that seemed pretty topical. I don't know. I mean, I knew there was some anti-video game things out there. Yeah, but it didn't um, play too much of a part, though. It did yeah. in the movie. I don't remember it. But then again, by that point, I was already no, older. Uh, anti-video game messages or anti-video game preaching wasn't a thing until, like, what, Grand Theft Auto was a thing? No, 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 Mortal no, Kombat, Mortal Kombat, true. Mortal Kombat. It was before that. It was really? way, b- way before that. Yeah. I just don't know if it was enough that people were picketing in front of stores. 
Yeah. But to be fair, when the NES came out, I was already an adult. I was already like 18 or 19. Right. So I don't know. So you just stroll right in, get your NES, and be yeah. I mean, I was in the military, and you know, and be corrupted. Nobody by video was games. gonna, yeah. Nobody was gonna tell us no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, know. This movie, it just it seems like it's a mishmash of a lot of like classic movies. You you know, oh, you, yeah. you got like the Princess Bride bits, and you got like, yeah. you got like I don't know, you got like a lot of those like just a bunch of kids kind of hanging out doing stuff. It's which yeah. you don't get to see a lot of the other kids do much of anything besides just sort of be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, true, but it's it was cr- his story, too. It's right. not as crazy as Jingle All the Way. Ugh, talk about hyper-reality. <laughs> <laughs> well, that actually went... Yeah. That's funny you said that, because when, <laughs> when I was thinking of like movies with hyper-reality that really bother me, it was Jingle All the Way is one of them. Wow. <laughs> it's just too, too crazy. Which one was Jingle... Oh, that was that the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. trying Turbo to get Man. the Turbo Man? Turbo yeah, Man, which yeah. they have. I've Young seen Jake they Lloyd, sell Turbo yeah. Man figures at the Walmart. store now. Yep, it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I don't like the parents. I didn't like the parents. The parents <laughs> well, were very much like the parents from a Christmas story, just I, we, just a bunch of like yeah. unlikable weirdos. Yeah, and I think that especially see, Steve Zahn's character. I was going to say I think that was the problem with Steve Zahn's character is for too much of the movie he was just unlikable. Yeah. Where where an idiot, an unlikable idiot. And and he was kind of, kind of a dope, yeah. yeah. Well, I feel Whereas like Whereas you talk about Christmas story with Darren McGavin, I think he was he wasn't unlikable. Yeah. Like, he was still a dad, and he still had his moments. I mean, he was kind of that yelling kind of crazy guy, but he was also, right. he also wasn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like, like, Steve Zahn for most of that movie, until you got to the last act, he was kind of a jerk. It's like, because I like Steve Zahn. <laughs> yeah, I just, so I. He's just, like, in this part, he was just, like, I, I don't know if it was oh. the way it was written or I, the, he, the choices he made. It just, he didn't come across as likable. You know what did kind of bother me? What? Steve Zahn actually looked younger than Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And he's oh. a, and he's about seven years older. Dang. That's <laughs> and not, the fact that yeah. Neil Patrick Harris played somebody who was God a good eight years younger than he was, seven years younger than he was. Did he? Is that who he was that what he was supposed to portray? Well, yeah, he, he if he was eleven in nineteen eighty eight, uh-huh. I mean think about that. I think uh I think he was actually born in nineteen seventy one, seventy two. Oh and so yeah, so okay. I thought that was a little weird. He looked too old. Steve Zahn actually looked a little too old to be his dad. Yeah. I mean because he's older than me, he's a couple right, years older than me. Right. So, huh. well, I feel like I that, that was odd. That's kind of that was kind that's of that's a trend nowadays, though. But then again, Darren McGavin was too old to be his son too. So, well, I kind of feel like that's the, <laughs> the whole dad. making the parents kind of dumb was kind of intentional because, like, if you look at something like Goosebumps, every story where yeah, the parents are true. involved, the parents are downright. Yeah, and again, it is a story that he's telling. So most of he's the, not painting his parents yeah. in the best light intentionally. Yeah. Most yeah. of yeah, most of the parents in these types of movies are usually like dopes, dopes, yeah. <laughs> yeah dopes. And it just, it, but in this one, it just didn't come across as like, I don't know, likable. Again, Steve Zahn's portrayal yeah, of first, his dad was just like, yeah. oh my god, this guy would he just? He, he had not, yeah, he had no first act scenes that painted him. As anything but just kind of a jerk and an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. And you're it came, it, right. yeah. And then like all the heartwarming, like, oh, he's Stuff actually a pretty later, great dad. Yeah. It, was like, it was too late by it was then. Too late. Yeah. And then the mom, I don't know what the mom's deal was. I'm not quite sure. I love June Diane Raphael. I think she's hilarious, yeah. but uh, I, I don't know what her deal was supposed to be. <laughs> I'm not. Is she just like this strict mom who just like this strict cheap mom? I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Besides, I don't know. This movie just didn't feel like it had a lot of structure. But you know, it's a kids' movie. I'm I'm trying to see it as a kids' movie, and most kids' movies, when I go back and watch, don't have a lot of structure. Sometimes, yeah. is there anything you just really didn't like, or not necessarily? Yeah. Like it doesn't, it didn't really, it didn't flat out insult my intelligence. Right. That, that at the very least, I it thought did. it mostly worked, even yeah. though it clearly borrowed from other films. Yes, other, right, yeah, which is fine. Okay, um, yeah, no, no, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh, like, so, how accurate is this? to what the 80s actually were in terms of the way it's portrayed. So there wasn't a lot it of It felt like, like early 80s to me more yeah. than late 80s, but again, there wasn't too much like pop culture reference besides the Nintendo stuff, but like Yeah. The like like we were talking about the whole thing with like the helmets. Like, oh yeah, I wore a helmet. Yeah, no no we Nobody didn't. wore helmets. Nobody yeah. wore a helmet. Yeah. Helmets were for dorks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think at least when I was a kid, nobody. I mean, it was just unheard of. Right. I can't even think of anybody even wearing a helmet. Right. I don't. Except occasionally, you would see like road cyclists like wearing helmets. Right. Right. And I think the excuse or reason I was given was like, well, they're going like 50, 60 miles an hour. They have to wear a helmet. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know that, that way, their head is safe yeah, in yeah. case they mangle the rest of their body. Yeah. Right. 
um, yeah, like that kind of stuff. Uh, I do love the the scene with the power glove. Yes. Yeah. That We're was gonna, let's get good. into things we oh, like. Let's my get God. into things we like about yeah. this movie. The power glove was great. The power glove was a good scene. I, yeah. I remember the whole build up. I'm thinking like that thing was terrible. I really hope they show that correctly. Right. <laughs> and now, when did the power glove kind of come out though? I think was it the '80s or was it the me, '90s? Um, no, it was. I believe it is in the '80s. I believe it's in the '80s. Maybe late '80s because I think it came out the same year the Wizard came out, and the Wizard was basically a commercial for the power glove and uh, Mario Bros. Three. Yeah, you're right. But but because I didn't pick up a pair of glove till I got back to because I lived in Europe at the time. Oh my god! It came you out actually, in nineteen. Yeah, so it, and I, I picked up a power glove when I got back. But and I just remember like this thing. It doesn't even work. It's terrible. Right. It so looks cool. so yeah, should have kept it. Yeah. Now kept it. I don't I don't remember. In this movie, was the Nintendo brand new? Nintendo, yeah, it would have been new. That would have been the new yeah. gaming console. No, no, was it brand new at that particular point in time in the movie? Because the 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 Nintendo came out in eighty six. And, the really? and I just looked up the Power Glove, and the Power Glove came out in 89. Okay, so yes. Yeah, well, so, he did say late 80s. Right, so assuming that this kid, the rich kid in the movie who had the, the NES, right. probably has had it for, I don't know, a couple of years already. Like, right? Like, maybe sometime later <laughs> in the year, we're thinking maybe, what, two years, three years yeah. already? And then he has a Power Glove as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that makes sense, because, I mean, that... NES was, I mean, that was it until mm -hmm. like Sega came out. Yeah, that right. was like and '92 or something. Yeah, Nintendo was the biggest, and at the time it was. Yeah. It, it revitalized gaming genre because of the crash of '82, I believe, with ET. Oh uh, yeah, with Atari. Yeah, yeah, and Nintendo just made video. Yeah, because awesome there was again. those. Yeah, there were those dry years in there where you had like I wanna, it was like the Jaguar, the 3DO. They just. Oh they yeah. Were, they were expensive. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they were expensive. They never really took off. I think the right. games were pretty pricey. Yes, and they were not great. <laughs> I mean, well, some of them were actually very good, is my understanding. Some of them, yeah. some of them. Studio has uh, that not one most, game not with all of Mark them. Hamill. Like, yeah, I what it's called. But the Jaguar is the one that shaped like a toilet with the yeah. uh, right. accessory. And mm -hmm. then uh, Nintendo was the first one that came out that had a like the old Atari, where they just from the get go they had a ton of games. They had, you know, it was a relatively low price point for the. Uh, for the new console, how much like that. were cartridges back then? Like, yeah, you were fifteen dollars, I think. Fifteen? What? Fifteen or twenty? Can oh you imagine God. paying fifteen dollars for a brand new game? I mean, yeah. that was a lot back then, I'm sure. But uh, well, because I remember like the PlayStation. I want to say those were thirty. New what? When the PlayStation came out, yeah. right? What? That, they got to remember thirty dollars in nineteen ninety eight dollars is probably that was a about lot. fifty was sixty lot. bucks now. Yeah, yeah it's. Yeah, right. um, if we're if we're if we're uh, talking yeah. about inflation, yeah, pretty much. Fifteen bucks was the, was like the same. I was like, I oh my God, fifteen say, bucks for I a game. I want to say fifteen, and I want to say like the Zeldas, the ones that had batteries in them, were more. Mm -hmm. You know, like Zelda, the gold cartridge Zelda stuff. Oh yeah, like that. I have that displayed in my room, and nice. even though I don't have an NES, to play I, with I used to have one. So <laughs> let me ask you this: since you were eighteen at the time, um, one of the sub stories here is that the like the, the main character's sister wanted a a Cabbage Patch Kid. Which uh, also was like the hot toy of the eighties. I think like it, was it was really hard that, to. Though. Yeah, those were earlier eighties. I want to say. I guess I don't my, know for sure. I guess like my I question said, is, how did you get yours back then? <laughs> um, yeah, I got mine in the nineties for my daughter. Um, and they smelled like. And they were pretty common by then. They smelled like baby powder for some reason. Because uh, they're babies. Well, it's not for some right. reason. They friggin' scented them that way. Oh, uh, because um, they're babies. I want to say. I know by the early 90s they were everywhere, but I can't vouch for the late 80s. And I wasn't a kid, so I mean, I wasn't on the lookout for them. I just remember right. it was earlier in the 80s when those things were impossible to get. Mm. I think that was probably just sort of an, a thing from the 80s they added in, not because it was necessarily relevant. I can't imagine by the late 80s people were still <laughs> hunting up cabbage patches like that. They could have been, though. <laughs> right. This movie, yeah, does not have like a clear... Yeah, like precise time as to where it's taking place. We just know it's in the '80s, and that's yeah. it. Well, he um, does say like '88. Does he really? And then I don't remember. And then she says something, and he's like, "Okay, the late '80s. The year was the late '80s. That's all he says." Oh, okay. Well, that probably so, makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. So, other stuff that you liked from this movie: uh, the rich kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rich kid probably got the biggest visceral reaction from me, especially the part with the dog. 
His rage quitting. Yeah, his rage when quitting. he rage quit. His that, rage quit was and pretty epic. Poor dog paid for it. Oh, his yeah. his so rage bad. quit over the power glove. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually the climax of the film right there. That the was freaking right. fantastic. When he freaked out with the power glove. Yeah, I recommend you watch at least that part because <laughs> that part is hilarious. <laughs> that was every kid who got a power glove, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a power glove at a yard sale and tried to use it, and it, it, it was the they, worst. Yeah, they were terrible. It just I, looked cool. That yeah, was about I it. And I want to say it was pretty expensive. I... I'm going back in my mind's eye, and I want to say, I mean, it was like eighty or ninety dollars, mm. which a Nintendo was like a hundred. Right. So Damn. it was pretty expensive. <laughs> I, I, but I don't remember for sure. So don't quote me on that. But I kind of want yeah. one just to just to wear it. I should have kept it uh, just for you know, I don't know, for nostalgia. Just probably could have sold it now. Just yeah. Silliness. Yeah, I probably yeah. could have sold, yeah. 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 sold it for more now. Yeah. Um, I do like that this movie is like. I would imagine there's people out there in the internet that probably refurbish them so they work. Oh, I'm sure. Nowadays, yeah. But they probably still work as bad as when they were brand new. I'm sure. No, no, they probably right. make them so they actually work. But anyway, uh, I, I, I interrupted. Yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, uh, I do like that this is a movie that we haven't, the type of movie we haven't seen in a long time, which is kids doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't get a lot of kid hijink movies really anymore. I think the kids were pretty good, too. Yeah, honestly. they were They were, good. They were all good. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, the bully kid who's like clearly... I mean, like a fifteen-year-old. That, that, <laughs> that kid looked like he had a shift at a factory yeah, after he had school. Like, he yeah. had like yeah. five o'clock shadow. Yeah. And that was pretty funny. Um, I mean, <laughs> there, there, everybody knows one though from you know, like fifth grade. Yeah, yeah just sixth that grade, one, yeah. that one goober yeah, kid one that was just kid. bigger than everybody. <laughs> yeah, but um, like I know, like the closest thing we've got to this in terms of like where the main characters are just a group of kids is like what Stranger Things and it. That's. Yeah, from, yeah, from but like this is, are, those are much darker and more yeah, serious. This is films. like a hijinks, like children's yeah. movie for yep. you know for kids like doing stuff. So yeah. the only you know what didn't make clear to me, and it might have been because I got up to get some water or something, mm-hmm. was what did they actually do with the baseball cards? To, I know they found like the one the error the card. Mis- yeah with the, the curse misprint. word on the bat. Yeah, 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 which is a real thing. Because I immediately looked it up, but what did they end up doing with the they cards sold to them. make money? They, just, they sold them to the baseball card store. They, all, they card found store. more of them or something. No, so I guess the the uh, w- the uh, the young the young lady in the group, yeah, who she ends collected up as baseball the... cards, oh. and then they got ba- and then when it was their birthday in the movie, they got more baseball cards and they found that rare card. So I think she sold that card and probably like a bunch of other rare cards that she uh. had because she collected them. So. Well, you know, to be fair, she sold her cards at the right time, which is probably why she ended up as a CEO. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, this yeah. is only a couple years later when that whole market went there. Right. Yeah, there was very yeah. little mention of what happens to any of these kids yeah. after the movie. Like, I was really yeah. hoping to see like a grown-up version of them or something like that. But right. you know, it, it it didn't happen, which is fine. Yeah. They just they did talk a little bit about it. Like, yeah, she became a CEO, and her brother, her twin brother, was like the vice president <laughs> yeah, or something yeah. like that of the same company. Um, so yeah, it's uh, the big kid, the big goofy kid yeah. when they were selling reeds, and he was just <laughs> like, "Shut up, we're surprised!" Like yelling at the scoutmaster. Oh, uh, boy. that was yeah. pretty messed up. They yeah. like were told they're going to win a Nintendo, and then they changed it. And then World Book Encyclopedia. Yeah, that that was very reminiscent of the scene in um in Christmas Story when he uh, got the decoder. And, yeah, yeah. and like he decoded drink the message. Your this is this drink yeah. your oval tea. And he was so bad. He cursed at, uh, what was it, Little Orphan Annie, I think it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. Um, <laughs> but it was akin to that, like, oh my gosh, he's going to get a Nintendo. How are they going to mess this up? Nope, it's a, it's no. a bunch of. Uh, which it's a would bunch be irrelevant. Of encyclopedias, and, yeah. Which would be irrelevant in only five short years. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My parents bought an old set of encyclopedias one time yeah. out, of, out of a garage sale. I used to read them a lot as a kid. Did really? you? Enough, yeah. Nerd. Yeah. It's I... just like surfing the internet for yeah, stupid yeah. information. It's the internet made from trees. I'm going to look up wolves. I'm going to look up birds. I'm going to look up yeah, science. I'm going to look up this. Just... This is before uh, when you could look up stuff like on wolves, let's say, and actually get stuff on wolves and not what people have... Uh, yeah, now done you, to like wool. Now if yeah, now if like, you yeah, now if de- you on deviant art or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now if you, yeah, now if you Google wolves, you're gonna get two pages of um, wolf memorabilia or somebody that's selling something, <laughs> and then when you get to the third page, it's furry art, stuff. art that yeah, it's furry it's stuff. Yeah. Very graphic yes. art. Yeah, a little like, too little too graphic. I need, to, I need to find a way. If anybody out there knows of an alternative to Google who doesn't try to sell you something for the first two pages, please let yeah, us know. Yeah, the Encyclopedia. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Encyclopedia Britannica. Bing, because I think Bing, like, like uh, Bing. No, because no Bing, Bing, Bing uses Google. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but I remember It's there's... the equivalent of me telling you, hey, man, can you Google something for me? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, actually. Yeah, can you Google something for me? <laughs> uh, okay, so... 
I mean, you know, it, it's not a it's not a bad film overall. No, I think no, no, it, no. I think it, I mean for for being a family film, it's not anything spectacular, but it's definitely like something you can sit down and watch with you kids know, and probably have a good time watching. I think the end um even though, you know, it was a little late when Steve Zahn's character came around and he was actually likable. I think the end made a really good point. Um I think I think I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but I think the writing was such that um you know, the message was out there, but there was a there was a deeper message just under the surface about, right. you know, really I mean the message is out there, it's obvious, but the other message being like, you know, there's other things. Right. You know, <laughs> you might obsess about something, but there's other things that you can enjoy and there's other things that are important and right. there's other things. And, and the, I, I and did the, like that. I, I thought it that was w- Yeah, you know, it did it did take like a unlike an eighties movie with like childish <laughs> hijinks. Yeah. It wasn't just about the Nintendo. By the time you get to the end of the movie, there's a lot more of a like a deeper message, a common message, right. but a much deeper message in there that sort of sets aside the fact that this was about getting a Nintendo. Yeah, and then the other message, of course, being that you, it's okay to not get what you want sometimes, which, you know, judging by my own <laughs> upbringing, I think it's something sorely lacking in our society. Right. Yes. Because we, I think we all grew up in a society where most of us got pretty much what we wanted because uh, that was the society mm, we lived in i mean eventually maybe not right away but eventually yeah, yeah. I, mean, so. I, wasn't I mean i never got a super nintendo ever no i didn't Whoa. either yeah i know yeah. i had to put my cousin's super nintendo I mean, <laughs> like I an animal like an animal <laughs> i had to go over to his house hang out with people Ugh. i mean i wasn't allowed to play gta until i was 18 yeah. what well, that's terrible that's terrible yeah, yeah. however i was you a poor I, boy however i was allowed to play resident evil and call of duty which had more gratuitous violence. Yeah, yeah explain true. that one to me. That's true. <laughs> I have no clue. Saints Row all day, but Saints I wasn't allowed to play GTA. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> all right, let's wrap this all up. All right, so uh, final thoughts. Final uh, thoughts on the movie. You know, I actually liked it. I thought for what it was, it worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought it was a cute movie. I thought, you know, Neil Patrick Harris, despite what you may feel about him. I mean, he is charismatic. He is yep. charming. He's likable. You say that like he's done something he, terrible. Did he do something no, terrible no, 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 recently? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. But I know some people are like, uh, I mean, know, Doogie Howser. Uh, I mean, dude, I love Neil Patrick I, Harris. I, yeah. yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I never did. I mean, the last movies I saw him in were the Howard and Kamar movies. The kids, the kids all, <laughs> <laughs> the kids all worked. You know what I mean? I, and what I mean is they were good in their parts. They were all charismatic. They all had enough personality that yeah. it was okay that you didn't get much from them. Right. Which I think is important. When you have an ensemble where they don't spend a lot of time with most of the ensemble, mm-hmm. you need actors that sort of pop. Right. Whether charisma or just behavior, they got to stand out. And I think mm-hmm. this did a good job of that. Right. Um, I agree. I feel like the, the disservice this movie did was to the more established actors, your David Cross. David Cross is probably David like. David Cross was good. David Cross is yes. in there for probably for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that uh, was collectively. Just, he was the moral center. Yep. Unfortunately for both the 80s and for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, like Steve, Steve Zahn's character and Gene yeah. Diane Rayfield's character. Oh, you're going to give me a Nintendo? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I do like the, the, like the red herring is like when his uncle from Japan said right, right. the box. <laughs> the He's like, that looks like a Nintendo. It's like a Japanese light, right? Yeah. That was um, yeah that was but yeah, I do. I mean, I agree with everything you said. I think it had a, a great message. It's not a classic Christmas movie by any means. It's not something no, you're gonna watch probably it's a Christmas movie for twenty twenty one. Yeah, you'll probably is. you probably won't see it next year. Right? Like it'll eh, never probably pro- cross your mind. I think it'll mind. stay relevant for a few years. Mm, I don't think it'll ever cross your mind again, honestly. It's <laughs> it's not a bad movie, but it's not a memorable movie. It's not like a Rankin and Bass. Well, like, look at that. I movie. liked it better than him. No, it's no. not a classic like no, a Rankin no. and Bass. Yeah. No. Oh no, it's I, not I mean, timeless. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like timeless. Yeah, no, like you said, it's it not wasn't, timeless. It wasn't a jingle all the way. No. <laughs> It wasn't Christmas with the Cranks, you guys, and that's really the kind of movie I'm looking for. It's no, it's no bad Santa. <laughs> it's no bad right, Santa let's, too. Let's rate this sucker and get out of here. All right, four, four stars. Four. You give it four out of four. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, there's nothing too bad from what I saw. It was yeah. just like, eh, okay, kids can enjoy this. I don't see anything that insults my intelligence. I don't see anything that's morally wrong with it in any sense. So yeah. Yeah, I actually give it four too. I, I I think I liked it wow. more than you did. Yeah, I think I actually liked guys, it a lot more than you. I, did, I know yeah. I always joke about how like you guys give something a four, and I'm <laughs> like one. Uh, I'm gonna have to go that way t- uh, this time. I'm. It's not a four, but it's not a one. It's not okay. a one. It is. It is. 
Two and a half. I would say two wow. and a half. Wow. I would give it two and a half. I, I mean, I it's it. I it's it it's cute. It's it's not a bad movie. Yeah. It's it's not memorable. There's a lot of stuff that kind of took me out of it, but there's a lot of stuff in there that's really good. Again, that that whole scene with the rich kid rage <laughs> quitting was, yes. was probably that my was favorite great. scene in the it's whole a more movie. Taekwondo's like karate, but more expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. He did say that. Yes. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, I'm gonna say that to somebody. Like, yeah, yeah. You sure you want to fight me, dude? Because I don't talk with dough. It's like karate, but more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was great. Oh gosh! Okay, so four, four, two and a half. Right? Wow! Uh, yeah, I know. I know the disparity. It's like, uh, oh, I'm I'm that critic that uh, gave a bad review to Toy Story three, what? so that it would, so that it wouldn't. I, I didn't care for Toy Story. So that what? it wouldn't or have two, like a honest. perfect score. I just, Do you remember that one guy who did that? He wrote like a bad. Re- Everyone gave Toy Story three a good review. Yeah. He was the only person to give it a bad review because he didn't. I guess the goal was he didn't want all three movies to be like a good trilogy or a perfect trilogy or something like that. Well, that's not uh, a good reason. What the hell? Hey, well, I don't you know, know, talk to that guy. Um, I, I don't know who he is. I don't think it matters anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. I mean, you know, four, four, two cool. and a half. Definitely on. It's on. It's on. Currently on HBO right. Max. Uh, you good, can definitely though. sit down with that's your good. kids and watch it. Yeah, it's yes. not like the usual fare that we talk about. <laughs> right. uh, yes. So uh, there you go. I forgot what it's called. Ape at Christmas. Ape at Christmas. Thank you and. Okay, plugs. Plugs real quick. Oh, <laughs> plugs. Oh, yeah. Hair um, plugs. Hair plugs. For right. men and yeah. women. Uh, be sure Speaking of check, our sponsor. Check out the podcast, Toku Titan Cast on YouTube and Titan Goji YouTube channel. This Saturday, we're going to do a charity stream where we'll stream and Come react to... Come up a little to, bit so you can see the shirt. Oh. <laughs> go ahead, keep <laughs> going. We'll stream and react to five Godzilla movies and wow. in one go. Nice. So I might need a jug for whenever I have to use the restroom, but oh. yeah. <laughs> Wow. You're going to sell that on the internet? Yep. Water, water discipline. <laughs> water discipline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plug, what do you got? Uh, Tee Public slash GoFrenners, Oddity Collectibles, cool t shirts that aren't common. Go get some. Yeah, listen, if you're like me and you like for people to be confused about your t shirt, these are the shirts. And especially They're deep cut shirts. Especially, sure. yeah, especially if you're a fan of an old war game that's based on I a very popular it's terrible. science fiction television it's show. Awful. I love the television Those show, I hate the game. Those sh- yeah, you hated the game, it's but the worst. Um, it was too slow, and I hate yeah, it. Yeah, and anyway, yeah. Also, I'm bad at it. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. <laughs> right, guys, uh, we we will see you guys next week. Uh, have a good night.